Hi, I'm Dr. Malcolm Godfrey. I'm an obstetrician, gynecologist and fertility specialist with IVF Australia. And uh, well done on uh, planning a future pregnancy. The reason why folate is so important is when you're planning the pregnancy before your period's even due and you're pregnant, uh, the folate is, is needed for the neurological development in the spinal cord and the brain. So that brain and spinal cord is de developing quite quickly and around day 21 to 25, the folate's very important for that part of the process. Most of the time when you're taking a pregnancy multivitamin, it'll at least have 400 micrograms of folate in there. There are some people that need to be on a high dose of folate. So people, for instance, for pre-existing diabetes, uh, people with epilepsy, especially if they're on uh, medications for the epilepsy, uh, or people that had a previous baby with spina bifida or family history of spina bifida. Some of these people do need to be on a high dose up to about five milligrams every day and that is carried through the, uh, until the end of the first trimester. And then you can go back down to your normal routine uh, folic acid dose. So sometimes people find out that they're already pregnant and they haven't been taking any multivitamins or a folate supplement. All I can say is, is, is don't worry, majority of the time things are still going to work out fine. Uh, but it's important um, to, once you know you're pregnant, to start that supplement to improve the outcomes in your pregnancy. So throughout the pregnancy, the demands of folate are increased, so it's still important to, to carry on with your supplementation. And sometimes people uh, are unsure on what dose they are, are supposed to take. And it's important to have a chat with your GP or your fertility specialist when you are planning a pregnancy just to clarify what dose you should take. Most of the time people just need a minimum of 400 micrograms a day um, and there's only a, a few special populations of people that need to be on a high dose for a, a prolonged period of time. And most of the time when you're coming into the early pregnancy um, after the first trimester, after the first trimester we'll reduce that dose down to 400 micrograms a day. So some people do ask uh, when they've been trying for quite a while, that, uh, is, it, is it safe to continue to take a folate supplement when they could be trying for a pregnancy for 6, 12, 18 months? So if you're on the recommended dose of 400 micrograms of folate per day, and you, you cannot overdose on your, on your folate, so it's very safe to, to continue that, um, especially if you uh, Especially when you get to that point where you, you do fall pregnant, it's important to make sure you, you, you're still taking your folate. Yeah, I'd like to say that th thank you for watching Fertile Minds, and I think everyone's situation is, is unique, so it's important if you're unsure, go and have a chat to your GP or get referred to a um, fertility specialist um, so you can address any issues that might be relevant to you. Thank you.